I'm right, and welcome to Top of the Pots. Hi guys, I know it's been a while, I thought I'll update you on the polytunnel. I've been very busy with one thing or another, and if you haven't seen the polytunnel bill from the beginning, go we'll check it out. But this is how, how it is now. What do, you, what do you think guys? It's great, isn't it? It's like um, a tropical jungle in here. It is, it is, it? yeah. <laughs> it's the first time I've been up since you, well, since we finished putting the, um, the plastic on the top. I know, work have been really busy and one thing and another. And, and we're uh, working on the house as well. The tomatoes are coming well, I don't know if you can see. i got different types of tomatoes, i got, I got plum tomatoes in. Uh, i got these black olive and i got tiger tomato and a bit of an experiment. I put the sweet corn in, I planted sweet corn outside. I'll show you the difference before we go. The ones inside are doing really, really well. I put runner beans left and right. Uh, I've got runner beans down there. i got French climbing beans this side uh, and it up. And uh, it looks like it won't be long. We'll be picking, picking some. I'm six foot two and check out my corn. What do you think, huh? It won't be long now. Anyway, I got a call jet down there. Uh, variety green machine. Let's go see how, how, uh, how that one's doing. Let's get down here, squeeze through the jungle. See if I got anything ready for picking. Oh yeah, I think it is. I think you've got quite a few, boy. Yeah. Have you got a monster? Yeah. Ooh, nice. This is a. There we are. Ooh, he's a big one. We haven't been up for a few days. No, no, Ooh. we've had a a holiday and. Plus, work has been very busy. A couple more there to oh, harvest as well. I've never tried cooking the flowers. Now, has anybody out there tried cooking the flowers in a... Is it a temp tempur batter? I think I need to try that. Try and keep, yeah. the, keep the flowers, Nigel, and I'll give it a go. I'm always afraid there's going to be a bug inside and I don't want to fry do a bug. Want, do you want to pick any, any of the smaller ones? Yeah, a couple of little smaller ones. Do you want to try our one? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Now oh, he's a nice uh, small juicy one. That one on the bottom looks like he could do with coming uh, coming home. This one or that one? That one, the one you got your hand on now. Right. Can I get him? See him there? Oh, oh, so I can just, just chew them off. Because you won't get in there with your sausage paws. Yeah. Okay. I think that one looks a bit bad too. He's got to come off, I think. Has he got a... Yeah, some of them cop it on the ends, don't they? They get a bit... Um, Plant can't support them all, see? Yeah. You can always cut the grotty bit off. Ah, yeah. oh, that's, a, that's a lost one. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Goodbye, Courgette. There we are. So that's a few, uh, few nice courgettes there. Uh, there Go up there. there Tidy. A few Maybe. nice courgettes. Plenty of flowers on the run of beans. And plenty of flowers on everything. This is a bit of an experiment. And i got to say, it is absolutely baking in I here. Know. I know, i got to start watering now. And the doors, both doors are open to allow plenty of air. Yeah. Run of beans, oops. Right, let me put these down now. And I, I'm yeah. I can show you what I'm doing with my, with my tomato plant. Put the supporting stick in. Tied it off. And what, what the idea is, gently wind your plant around every time you've got a bit of growth on it and it will support because I haven't got the sticks long enough and I didn't want to really pull, put long sticks in it just because I poked it through the polythene bad idea <laughs> yeah and these long ones trim them off where 
We've got the main stem coming up. That's the top. If we leave these on, it's going to get confusing. Right? This will take all, all the goodness out of the plant, and we really want it to go to the flowers. Yeah, so that, one, that one's grown quite thick, isn't yeah. it? Use the scissors when it when it's thick like that. Yeah, these little ones that are coming up and they're smaller. Yeah, you, just, been up you just wipe them off. Pinch them out. The thing is, they turn your fingers black mm, if you're mm. doing them with your fingernails. <laughs> yeah, and this again, gently leave a bit of slack on that on the cord when you when you tie, and that will tighten up by that as you can gently wind it, wind them round. Like that, see? There's another little one there, look. Yeah. See that? That one coming out of the, the main stem. Oh, uh, so I'll take him off. Up. You got him? Pop him off. Oops. Yeah. Not clean, not a clean cut, that cap. There we go, one. got him. Yeah, we've got yeah. a few, few tomatoes done about them. Oh, excuse I've me. Chopped off the branches, right? Because mm -hmm. what, what they're saying is, right? Leave a, leave a couple, I like leave, leave a couple on. And what they're saying is, we want to grow tomatoes, not leaves. Tomatoes, not leaves, right? Mm -hmm. So you can chop them off. All goodness, now we'll go to the tomatoes. Same mm -hmm. as down here. Plenty of air around the fruit as well. And also, I like to do that because sometimes I haven't got time when I come in here with, with, the, with the use pipe, fed from the tanks, gravity fed. We're not on a, on a mains. And uh, <coughs> if you do accidentally splash the plants, you haven't got the, the leaves then go mouldy. Chuck them in the doorway there, pick them up later, and put them all in a pile. Did you plant those potatoes along here intentionally then? No. No, uh, last year I planted all the potatoes through here. Right. And uh, these must be the ones I've missed. I am dug up and they've, they've come up naturally. It, uh, I thought you'd put them in because they all seem to be in a line. I know. I know. Because uh, we've got things to show... We show outside as oh, well, haven't we? Yeah, they got, they've gone. Yeah, they're coming up naturally. Nature, nature, kind of um, having its way, <laughs> shall we say? Let's take them over. Yeah. So you're carrying on doing some um, yeah, tomato gonna, tying up, and I'm going to tie some string on you now. Yeah. And tie them up this one, like like these, by the way. Yeah. And uh, rather than it doing its own thing and going into the polythene. Yeah, yeah. Same, same as that. Well. Yeah. It's, it's been so hot. I can only I can only stay in here for so long. Yes, it's, it's cooking uh, with the doors open. We haven't got a temperature gauge yet, but we've got yeah, to bring one up. Yeah, I go one tomato on, on the floor by there, mind. Yeah, yeah, I know, I and, know. Uh, I'm straddling him at the moment. I was in a rush and I just chucked them in. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, even, yeah. even in a rush, I think they're doing all right. And uh, that's the other thing I wanted to say too. Yeah. I've planted them straight into the ground. I dug a little hole, and when I put the plant in, I put the compost in with the plant. And uh, it, it's it, they don't really well. I th I th I haven't been up there a lot, uh, and I haven't had much chance to, to water them. But I think they're doing better in the in the ground. In the ground. Yeah. yeah. I think the the roots now can go out and and look and, and look for the water. Yeah, they search for water then, don't they? Yeah. Again, yeah, nature's way, you know. Yeah, and with it being uh, raining uh, occasionally. Uh, it's, it's, they're doing alright. Yeah. So there we are. I'm going to put a bit of string on the end now. I'm going to lift the string at the top. we got turnips planted straight into the ground. And I used the, the packet as a, as a marker. And I put a little stone in it to stop it from blowing around. So these are turnips now. After you, I had old, old packets and all, and I planted these straight in. And we've got beetroot here. These are carrots, and I've used compost and put straight on top. Unfortunately, the, the weeds are going bananas. It's a shame we can't smoke them. But that one, huh? <laughs> smoke them? Yeah. You don't smoke. I know. But. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> oh, you're being funny now, right? Got gotcha. you. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, I'm yeah. slow on the uptake now. Ah, uh, we've got radishes. Maybe there's one or two we can 
take back with us. Uh, There's a couple of little dirty ones, so a yeah. little bit of salad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Radishes are doing Harvest well. a few of those. Weeds are doing even better. Uh, I put bits of timber in between them to show if I got a bit of timber there, it's some, yeah, I got something planted the opposite side. So that's, that's my way of doing things anyway. Yeah, yeah. So if I got if it's full of timber, I got stuff planted. It's full of plants. I got seeds in. Yeah. And, and yeah. Looks like I'm just growing weeds on this side. Okay, the weeds are doing really well. Yeah. yeah good crop there. Anyone want to buy any weeds? Yeah. No. <laughs> and this is our neighbour's patch. Right on to ours and he's struggling with the weeds as well. Pretty though, I do like those little daisies. Yeah. yeah. We got beetroot oh, yeah, up, beetroots up, up in here. I've grown these beetroot in uh, cells and I brought them up. Beetroot this side uh, was planted straight into the ground. Obviously the ones in, in the cells are doing better so I'm sticking them to plant them in cells rather than put the seeds straight into the ground. For beetroot anyway. That was your experiment and yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah. Uh, put them straight into the ground. It's, it's just not working for me. Put no. them in the cells. They grow in lovely and I can transplant them out. Yeah. Uh, whatever ground I put them in, I can make mm. sure the weeds are, uh, are free mm. up to a point anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time it, isn't it, to keep it weeded? Well, that's it with lockers. It's lockers. time. Yeah. It's, uh, it's time. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, it's a bottle. But and you've got broad beans on the end. My favourite. Yeah. Broad beans. I love broad beans. And a little few uh, rather I a couple of raspberries. dodgy looking raspberries in the back, aren't yeah. which I'll leave for the animals, I think, and the birds. Yeah. We've got the blue pipe running across the garden, yeah? It's so... I put <laughs> into the barrel. It looks absolutely crazy contraption yeah. night. You know, like a um, uh, mouse trap. Mouse trap, might, yeah. That's what reminds me, right? It might look scruffy, right? But it's absolutely, it's absolutely doing a fantastic job in collecting water. Right. Water comes off our sheet there. Okay, night. Into the bar, into the bucket. I can use a pump then. Put the pump onto the blue pipe. Yep. Right. Where'd you pump. catch the mouse? <laughs> <laughs> I can pump it across there and fill the barrels up there. By the turn of the Excuse me while I swing around, guys. Been absolutely fantastic. Filling those barrels up over there. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. But you know, we've got some lettuce now, which has gone a bit over. Right? Yeah, chickens got, are like them. We've got the potatoes coming up mm, uh, from like last year. Oh, we've got broccoli coming up. Yeah, we planted <gasps> broccoli. I cleared all this. Right? It wasn't, it wasn't a weed in it. Yeah. Right? I put mm. some broccoli in. Broccoli. Oh, isn't that lovely? Seems to be doing okay. Yeah. Oh, it's full of weeds. Yeah, well. Could do a walk in perhaps. And then you know, I don't know if you can see it in the trampoline. Uh, Look at the trampoline contraption. Good uh, God. Again, rogue potatoes from last year. <laughs> uh, we got broad beans. I don't know if you can see the cabbages and the Well, there are the cabbages net. in the background, yeah. I put the net back over to keep the butterflies off, but uh, I've decided to pull it across for the broad beans to be fertilized otherwise we just have flowers and, uh, and no crop no beans so as the weather been so uh, up and down I chanced it yeah cabbages seem to look looking okay and always full of weeds mm. uh, yeah hard to see through uh, to that Let me zoom in a little bit excuse me yeah maybe we can go around and, and have a look through oh the, I can poke it through there perhaps through the gap down there yeah but I might try digging up some of these potatoes now. For uh, some reason. This one in this border here? Yeah, that one there. I might get a fork uh, now and see, the, see, the see what you got. We might have a few fresh potatoes and some. So, folks, we'll, we'll see if we've got any potatoes or chest greens. Okay, go and get, we'll get, get a um, fork then. Yeah. And off he goes. Hey, well, love. Don't say I don't buy you flowers. Come on, take them off me, eh? Oh gee, thanks, Nigel. My cup overfloweth. Special flowers they are. He's so generous, my man. Not everybody gets flowers like that. No, aren't they lucky? <laughs> Fucking nice. I'll put them. I'll put them on the floor for now. 
Oh. Any spuddies? Ooh, what we got, what we got? Mm. We're digging these up now because it looks a bit... Yeah, off. and trust me, we need to update you on what's going on in the, in the plot. <laughs> yeah. So... You might not get many, but it might be enough for a bit of... Uh, bit of something. Are these um, lucky dip potatoes or no. proper shop bought Pro seed, seed potatoes? potatoes. I'll, tell, I'll tell you what they are, no. Oh, are they the ones we had from? Yeah. Come on then. Home guard they call. Oh, I remember us doing all the review at the beginning of the year, yeah. what you were going to plant. Yeah, I don't so. know if it's because of the, we haven't had a lot of rain and they've dried out. But, uh, Soil does look dry, mind. Yeah. But they've not... They don't no. come to anything. No. I'll put it this way now. Let me show the other side of the plot now. We'll dig this one up now and we, and we leave, them, leave the rest there. We'll just have enough for dinner. Yeah, yeah. Just a few each. Just, that's all we want. Oh, there we are. Not bad at all. Yeah. You can see the seed potato there. Hmm. And actually, I needed to get these out of the way anyway because I got... Uh, I got some cabbages to come up there. Yeah? Oh, lovely. And Brussels. Oh, Brussels. I love Brussels. Yeah, I'm happy yeah. with Brussels. Cabbage, not so much, but I will eat cabbage. Brussels but sprouts. I do love Brussels sprouts. I know I might be digging them up a bit earlier. I need the space as well. I well, it happens. Like they're, uh, they're looking a bit sick. They look a bit spent, don't they? Yeah. Don't know whether it's the variety or... Like you said, conditions, who knows? I'm sure somebody out there will have the knowledge. Yeah. I'll tell you how many more than I'm No, maybe not. Uh, it has been dry, mind. You won't try a lucky dip potato now. See what the difference is. A plant to keep its area clear. Well, as you can see, it's full of potatoes. <laughs> I, uh, was my plan. These come up naturally from uh, the potatoes we had here last year. So although I put a root of wheat there through here, picked every single weed up and, and look at it now. This is what we said in the polytunnel about nature having its yeah, own way. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I planted some seed corn in the and I planted these at the same time as I planted the sweet corn in the tunnel. So that and sweet corn there went in? The same day. Christ, stand next to it because that one is like six foot tall yeah. and that one's not even knee high. Wow! What a difference, huh? That's yeah. mad because they've not really come much at all. Maybe oh. it's the ground as well, I well, don't know. Well, the weather turned really bad. Yeah. But the, the ones in the, in the tunnel was, was quite dead. It's only recently, you know, I, I started leaving the, leaving the doors open. Yeah. Because, uh, it's not, it's not nice being in work when, the, when it's blowing a gale and I'm thinking, oh, what's happening with my tunnel? Oh. <laughs> but uh, lucky enough, it's, it's looking okay. And uh, I don't know if we're going to notice the barns we got outside. I've been skip diving. Yep. And, we uh, do like a good skip dive, with permission, they, of course. They, they collect the water really well. Yep. As they say, harvesting the water. Harvesting doing, the water. Doing, doing really good. Yeah. The reason I like the baths is so they've got to collect the water. And it makes it easy to fill your watering can up. Oh. And if you notice why I've got this hanging in the bath, should anything fall in, they can use this to pull itself out. And I got the same sort of thing in the other bath, but it's a, it's a stick. I wouldn't like to come up there and find anything floating around here. No, no, no. So Do our best give, anyway, innit? Give wildlife a chance. Absolutely. That's what I reckon. Give them a chance. Absolutely. Can I just dig, dig this one up? Two reasons. I want to see what's going on under there. And I need the space as well. Because I, I didn't plan on putting potatoes in this patch anyway. So. 
de esa bola. Mm, a couple of tutti ones. Yeah. Three bees. That's it. Nice, nice uh, salad potatoes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Will there be any more in the ground now? Or? We'll have a look now. See the ground is nice and, nice and moist and yeah, down Yeah, it's not super dry now. Take that one as well now. Ah, oh, look at them, man. Look at those! It's better than the plants you uh, intended to put in. Yeah, yeah. Those home guard. That, uh. That's a nice bird. Yeah, die on, bud, die on. And I need this ground back, so... So what are you going to put in here if you dig these up? Some more cabbage. Oh! And I'm going to look at uh, some stuff for the winter that I can grow through the winter. Ah, right, okay. Some long-term uh, stuff. Yeah, planning for the mm. hungry gap, as yeah. they say. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Carry on digging in and see if there's any more little gems in there. Oh well, small, uh, small little hole, but okay for nothing. There we are. The weeds are doing well. <laughs> Don't they always? <laughs> that's okay. I'm pleased with it anyway. That's, that's, and that's what counts. Yeah. What I'm pleased with. Yeah, that's all that matters. Yeah. So you're getting fresh air, exercise. Yeah. And yeah. it's just nice to be out in the fresh air, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's just all being out in with nature and doing yeah. what what's yeah. important in life. Doing what makes you happy. Doing something different. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. There we are, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a look. Have a look at the other videos. Check us out. And don't forget, get out there and do a bit. Ta-da! <laughs>